In this video, we will look at the general formula of polynomial interpolation by using Newton interpolation method. Uh, this Newton's method is the most popular and useful approach in interpolating polynomial. This is the general formula for nth order polynomial. As I explained in the previous video, for polynomial of nth order, you must have n plus 1 data points. If you want to find the uh, polynomial interpolation of degree 1, you must have 2 data points. But if you want to find the polynomial interpolation of degree 2, you must have 3 data points. This formula here is the formula of Newton interpolating polynomial of degree n. Well, this f x not comma x1, f x not comma x1 comma x2, up until f x not comma x n minus 1 comma x n are the Newton's divided difference. For example, if you want to find the Newton interpolating polynomial of degree 1, your formula should be like this. F 1 X So this is your polynomial of degree 1 equals to F of X naught plus with X minus X naught multiply with F X naught comma one where this f x not comma x one is the divided difference of x one x not to find the polynomial interpolation of degree one by using Newton's method you must use this formula uh, as you can see from this formula you must have two data points which is x0 and also x1. For polynomial of degree 2, so f2x equals to f of x0 plus v x minus x naught divided difference of x naught and x one and plus with x minus x naught X minus X one and multiply with F X naught comma X one comma X two where this value is the divided difference of x0, x1, and x2. To find this second order polynomial, you must have three data points, which is x0, x1, and x2. To use the formula of Newton interpolating polynomial, you must know how to find the divided difference. So these are the values of divided difference. To find the value of divided difference, 
it is easier if you construct a table. So in your table, uh, your, the first column is your x, uh, the value of x, and your second column is uh, the value of y. The next column is your first divided difference. If you want to find the first order polynomial, you must only have the value of first divided difference. But if you want to find the second order polynomial, you must have the value of first divided difference and also the value of second divided difference. Let's say you want to find the value of the first divided difference of x1 and x0. So the formula is f of x1 minus with f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0. So this formula is actually the formula of gradient. Uh, the change in y divided by the change in x. For the second divided difference, uh, let's say you want to find the divided difference of x2, x1 and x0. The formula is f x2 x1 minus f x1 x0 divided by x2 minus x0. So this f x2 comma x1 is actually the, the first divided difference of x2 and x1. And this f x1 comma x0 is the first divided difference of x1 and x0. Just by looking at the formula inside uh, this table, you might think it is very complicated to find the divided difference. Actually, it is not that hard to compute uh, the divided difference. We shall look at a few examples in the next video.